hello guys welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'll show you how to create this simple but elegant bottom navigation bar in figma here we have some properties here we can actually hide the titles of this bottom navigation bar and this is still going to look elegant and simple and we can control z here and uh, we can have all these things here so if you're new to my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button we're going to be using the Figma UI tree for this tutorial. If you're yet to receive this update, I'm going to link a video in the description below that will show you how you can pull this update in less than two minutes. Without taking much of your time, let's jump into it. So to get started, we are going to um, use the Figma community. So on the left hand side towards the bottom, click on explore community and uh, let's search for material icons icons and uh, press enter and uh, let's wait for that this is what i need so i'm going to click on this to open this file here now we can open this in figma so i'm going to click this once this is open this is how it's going to look and um, what we need are just some few icons. So I'm just going to um, search for them and then drop them here. Then we can just cut everything to a new file. So now the first thing we need is the um, explore. Let's search explore here. And I'll grab this first one here. Then we need a mill. I'm going to zoom in here and uh, because this is not actually visible. So let's just change this background color. So select the empty space here and uh, we can change this to uh, somewhere white so that we can see this so if this your um panel is dark all you need to do is to click on the icon here go to preference and the uh, team you can just switch between light and dark mode so i recommend using light because of the nature of our icons so now for our meal we are going to um pick this first one here and then drop this here then let's search for call scroll down and we're not using this so scroll down again then drag this and uh, drop this here then let's search for chat and see okay we have this option okay let's try this and see okay this is perfect and the last item we need here it's contact contact so search for contact or well, let's search for group let's see group 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 okay we have this here so i'll drag this and drop this so these are the five items we need so i'm going to select all these items here that's the five items press command x to cut or Control x to cut so we want to leave this file entirely so i'll click here and then back to files and we can now create a new design file here so i'm going to click that so once we have our empty space here i'm going to paste whatever we are having here that's um all the icons we copied there so once you paste them here i think um you can just still maybe select everything at once but if you have not clicked anywhere you can just right click and uh, detach instance here so all this we've detached them all we need to do is to convert them to our own components so right now while selecting everything you can click on the three dots here and then we can create multiple components so now we have the components we're going to be using for this tutorial so i'll drag this uh, let's say try to arrange all of these items here just to just make them look clean so you can just do this right click and then shift a to put them in an auto layout um i think we should still have all our five local components so you can make sure that everything is at the center and the space in between them 24 here and perfect well aligned so you can just see this is your icons so we have this then the next thing is to just grab one of these items so if you click on assets select this we have all our items here so i'm just going to grab one of this so i'll just drag this and drop this here then okay it's 24 by 24 i believe all the icons here are 24 by 24 here so let's add a text for this press letter t on your keyboard that's, that's going to be our label 
and uh, for this label here mm, i'm going to okay 12 is fine regular then let's change this to robo tool here and the uh, robo tool looks fine here then we can select these two items i need to change the color of this so let's just quickly change that for the text here 4e 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 um okay that's great so i want to do the same thing for this 4e 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 okay so we are having these two items here which they look great so for this text now, the first thing scrolls where we are having the typography. Let's change the alignment to center. Now we can select this, hold shift and select this other item. Press shift eight, put them in an auto layout. And um, you can as well just make sure that there's no space in between them zero because this is having enough space and uh, this is also having a good line height here. So now we can quickly convert this to a component but before we do that i'm going to rename this to menu item now let's convert this to a component now this is a component now and uh, we can add some properties the first one should be this icon here so once you double click and this icon has been selected now use this three dot here and uh, create an instant swap property this is going to be icon the same thing with this select this and uh, scroll down to where we have this yeah then click on this icon and this is going to be our label and for this label we want it to be optional there are some bottom navigation bar that don't have label so the next thing to do is to go to appearance where we have this appearance here you can click on this property here so show label so by default let's set that to true so i'm going to create this property here so if I come to this and I select this, I'm going to have three properties. The first one, it's the icon, text, and then the show label. Now we can create a variant for this. To do that, I will use the plus sign here. Make sure you're selecting this, then click this to create a variant. But I think I would love this to just go horizontally instead of vertical. So I'll just drop this here and uh, we can realign this adjust this and uh, adjust this here again as well so we have our labels so let's just change the color of this i'm going to select this and um, let's see if we can get our own color okay somewhere here just okay this is great that's 5a 5a ff for the color you can pick any color of your choice so now we have this our uh, items and uh, let's quickly um look for a phone that we're going to use let's say iphone 15 pro and uh, what is the width the width is 393 so let's create a frame this is going to be 393 that's width 393 here and by let's set that to 72 here yeah, by 72 and then the next thing is to add a stroke for this i'm going to use this plus sign here to add a stroke but this stroke you can click on this section here and make sure that it's just at the top here and then we can change the color of this i'll just use any gray here and uh, let's see okay i have this and uh, you can look for a perfect gray color that you want but don't just reduce the opacity if you reduce the opacity of black to like 12 percent it's going to work but then when the developers are working it's now going to be difficult for them to pick a color so always try to use a gray color instead of reducing the opacity so now that we have this you can simply just do something quickly here i'm going to um add a layout grid to this and uh um, i can set this to let's say columns and uh, we can set this to 16 and the the gutters it's going to be 16 as well and um yeah we can set the count to four or five let's use five since we have five icons here but this is not our mobile screen so i'll just set that to five here so we can now arrange and create our items here so for the first item you can make sure you're selecting the assets then you can drag your menu item drop that in here this so we have this our item here and uh, we can even use rulers for this so click on the icon here 
go to views and make sure that your ruler is checked once it is checked you can come let's see let's select our site here come to the extreme here drag and then drop this here let me just zoom in and then drop this here i'll do the same for the other end i'll come in here click and then drag and then just drop this somewhere here so i'm going to zoom in and then drop it here so now we can select this item and then hide this so let's just quickly just change these items here so this is going to be explore so we can change the property here explore here and uh, you notice we have this issue here so i will have to select this items here make sure i'm using matching layers and uh, let's make sure that this item it's set to hog content so that's going to solve our problem so now we can just have this here so i can command d to duplicate this or drag this here then we can change our items here so the next one we can have let's see phone and uh, let's change the icon here to phone command d to duplicate command d again d again so let's just keep changing them we have messages messages and uh, we can change the icon here to messages then we can come back here we have um let's see which other one we have contacts so i'll change this to contacts here with s so let's change the icon here to contacts so which other icon is left unused that's this now so this is going to be our messages so here let's add um, this is messages so let's add this last one here so this i'm going to change that to mail and uh, let's use this for mail that's this icon here so we can select all these items hold shift and select all of this press shift a to put them in an auto layout so i really want to rearrange this items so i'll make sure that this is somewhere here so for me to rearrange them uh, i want this contacts so select that press the direction key on your keyboard it's just going to move that here yeah, now so we want that to be last so the mail let's see we want that to be somewhere here and the the explore we want it to be at the center so now we have this so we just need to make sure that um for the auto layout we're setting the spacing between them to auto so that we can have this and now you can align these items to the center here so once this has been aligned we can decide to pick our active icon so we can just set that to variant 2 so i can select this and then change that to active here variant 2 to active so we now have our active item here so here you can select this double click and just change that to bottom nav bar here or bottom navigation so we can convert that to a component here as well so now that it has been converted to a component let's try to fit that in this mobile screen here so i will go to assets here drag the bottom navigation bar and then let's drop that here so um let's just align that here center and then the bottom here so this is you see it's perfectly aligned to the center and you notice how this looks very very clean and minimal so actually make this look even better i'll press letter r on my keyboard drag a rectangle just make sure that it's aligned to this end here i'll do the same thing here then we can right click okay let's just drag this here so you see why we are right clicking and uh, we can send this to back here so to make this even better let me align this we can just reduce the um, visibility of this here let's reduce the transparency now we have like an item behind this our navigation bar to just show that okay this is our nav bar and to actually make this even great i'm going to create a frame here let's just drag this somewhere here like this and then let's right click and uh, pick this is our main color here let's say you want to add this to your um, list of your project or you just want to post it on your social media so now we can have this and i'm going to select this let's say command d and uh, let's command x or control x select this and then command v to paste this inside this here so i'm just going to drag this somewhere here at the top here let's bring this and uh, let's try to arrange this so i'm going to select this and uh, let's improve on the border radius let's make that 24 
that's too much let's see how 16 looks mm, 16 looks better so you can even add more content here so now you see we have this clean looking navigation bar and remember we added a property earlier let's select let's just select everything so um, i'm going to double click to select this hold shift and uh, keep selecting all this now we can decide to hide this here and you see we still maintain this clean navigation bar here so if you're new to my channel and you want to see more tutorial tips like this please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, we can actually go back and then make these items visible